Good morning, YouTube. It's 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and I just woke up, and today is the 25th of June. You guys are going to be watching this video in about an hour and a half, and I didn't do the commentary, and I totally forgot about it, because life gets busy. But in today's video, we are taking remaining leftover resin, and we're going to make a project out of it. So if you do enough resin projects over time, you start to accumulate somewhat empty resin bottles. So it's not exact measurements. If you use East Coast resin or any kind of like one, two to one type or one to two, I forget what the ratio is, one to one, one to one type resins, things sometimes would become a little bit uneven because part A is a little bit thicker than part B. So part B comes out a little bit easier and is a little bit easier to measure. So that's kind of what the issue I have with these bottles is. So I have four leftover bottles from these two gallon jugs and I just didn't know what to do with them and just did what I usually do which is put them all upside down, try to pour out as much as humanly possible and use the remaining resin so that nothing goes to waste because resin is super expensive or at least some of it is. So what I'm doing here is just mixing up two different colored resins. One's like this pink color as you saw there and then I'm going to do another one that's just black. But the cool thing about it is I was going for like a universe bowl in this project. If you go back and watch one of my other videos you saw that I took like a couple of different types of colored resin and mixed them all together and had this really cool effect to it. So that's kind of what I was going for in this one. And again I apologize for my voice. I literally just woke up. So here I am pouring the resin out. You guys probably saw this in the YouTube short. I really thought it would mix a little bit better, but it just clearly didn't. And I knew that kind of like immediately after I put that uh, together. So four and a half hours later in the pressure pot, popped it out, real no problem, really no problem. And you can see the big division in the resin. The pink is mostly on the bottom. The darker colored resin is mostly on the top. And I think that was just a temperature change because the uh, pink resin I mixed up first so it became a little bit hotter faster. And then the cooler resin was on the top. But four and a half hours later, it all kind of mixed up to look like this. But uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some interesting things on the lathe. So here we go. Just getting the uh, waste block on and now we're going to get the faceplate on and that goes on pretty smooth. This project didn't take very long. This is like, I did this project two weeks ago. You guys are again watching this in June. Uh, or this earlier, earlier in the, in the month, I guess. And I really need to get ahead of my YouTube stuff because man, the deadline, I'm cutting it short. So here we go. I think, hold on, hold on. I think, oh, there it is, slow motion. How cool is that? Okay, so this is probably my, like, most favorite effect that I'm doing now. So, just something a little bit different. Now, if I could just do things on time, it'd be okay. Because it's it's literally 8 o'clock in the morning. This video is going to go out in two hours. So, I really, I used to be so good at getting ahead of this, but I don't know what it is lately, just getting busy with life and stuff like that. And I'm sure everybody out there knows get busy with stuff and next thing you know you're like oh my god I'm gonna miss a deadline and we just do this for fun so it's not like something catastrophic is gonna happen if I don't put out a video it's just this is my channel and I want to put out a video every Sunday and I've been pretty successful in doing that for the past couple of years so trying to keep that streak going uh, so again I apologize but once we got everything shaved down now we're just building out the mortise no real issues here it's like, I think I did this this project like early in the morning or like really late at night because it's so hot here in Texas that working in the shop is almost impossible. So I did my classic salty thing, which was, hey, I'm happy with it, but off camera, I went ahead and tried to make it more shallow and got a whole bunch of chip out from what you can see there. So I had to come back and fix that problem. So that kind of was a pain in the ass. And you guys didn't see that on camera, you just saw me punching my lathe. And that was a gentle punch, because sometimes I'll get so aggravated in these projects that I'll just punch the hell out of the lathe, even, even though I know I'm probably going to hurt myself and not the lathe. So, if you're aggravated, just stop and take a breath. So, now we're just working down material, getting it a little bit more shallow since I messed up and had to gouge out a lot more material than I wanted to. So the bowl looks a little wonky. I'm actually looking at it in my office right now. 
Still looks good though. Still looks good. So got that waste block off. Really happy with that flank. And now we are just going to start getting that uh, top layer off so that we can go ahead and start uh, the gouging portion of it. I don't know what happened there. I think I got some chip out there. I think that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, a little bit of chip out. Nothing too bad though. It just scares you when it chips out like that. And what are we doing? Slow motion again. Looks really cool. If I get some better editing software, I probably could do a lot better effects, but it still looks cool. There it is. Because I was like, ah, that was kind of like anticlimactic, but yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Shooting toward the camera. Now if we could just do it in 3D, it'd be even cooler, I guess. Pretty cool effect, though. And I guess this is a good time I should start to mention that the video format's going to be a little bit different going forward. I think I have, like, one more video that I need to edit that'll kind of be, like, how we've been doing it for the past couple of years. But I think I'm going to start doing some different kind of editing and filming techniques on the channel. Only because it's, like, the great thing about having a channel that's, like, really, really small like ours is that I can do whatever I want with it because, well, first of all, it's my channel. Secondly, uh, it's just good to change stuff up. When you have a smaller audience, I think it gives you a lot more freedom to be creative because once you get a bigger audience, people expect it to be a certain way. But the great thing about a small channel is you got a lot of room to do different kinds of things. And I think we're going to start doing some different filming techniques, which is, I think, long overdue. We've been doing this for four years now. So I think just doing different types because you can watch any woodworker i think people watch woodworkers for the personalities not so much for what they create probably i mean it's probably a little bit of that my cat just walked in but i think for me it's like i think people i don't know why people like to watch my channel to be honest but thank you i guess so here we are nearly done just zoomed in here to the gouging portion where you can see we're like at the almost at the bottom depth that we can reach and things are going pretty good I think once we get past this part then it's just down to sanding we just got to work out the edges at the bottom of the bowl but anyway back to the formatting thing so I think I'm just gonna put a lot more personality into my woodworking videos I think that's gonna be probably the best thing going forward I think that'll be really cool but something just different and I don't smoke, by the way. I just sound like this at 8 o'clock in the morning when I first wake up. Because I'm trying to get content out. And thank you for not... If you're still watching this video at this point, thank you. I'm so sorry. Not everything is professionally done on this channel. I think that's the theme of my channel. Nothing is ever professionally done. But I enjoy doing it anyway. So here we go. Here's all the shavings. Everything looks nice and neat. Now we're just getting to the sanding portion of it. And it did melt in my hands a little bit. It's super hot in the shop, so getting everything uh, not to melt was a big part. But once you do the wet sanding, uh, it forms back up real nice and easy. So if you're ever wondering how to uh, manipulate or to mold epoxy, just uh, superheat it and it'll, it'll get hot. But you can see kind of here what the bowl is going to look like. It's got that mixed up pink epoxy on the bottom. And the dark epoxy on the top it still looks cool it's, it doesn't look bad it just doesn't look how i thought it was going to look coming out of it but you know we, see, we show everything on this channel so another project in the books and the good news is another project done on a sunday so we keep the streak alive i'm going to go back and see how many sundays in a row that i've put out a project for the past like four years i think we only started i don't know maybe we started that early on in the channel but here's how the project looks at the end. Hope you guys liked it. Again, thanks for putting up with me and watching the whole video. All right, peace. All right, so project is done. This little guy uh, gave me a couple of problems when we were getting down to the mortise. And gouging was a little bit of an issue, but not really. But overall, uh, the mixture was supposed to be more mixed. And it unfortunately didn't end up that way, but it still looks kind of cool. You can see the transition to where, you know, things are 
you know, forming and then goes from pink to black and that little piece in the middle. But overall, really happy how this turned out. Nice, cool little bowl. Today is June 16th, 2023. You guys are watching this probably at the end of June or the beginning of July. Still trying to get uh, these bowl projects done. But uh, overall, cool little bowl. We're going to do a better mixture next time. Uh, there's a heat wave in Texas. It's actually almost three o'clock in the morning uh, right now. So I got to get in the garage and do these. Uh, while it's cool because it's going to be like 102 degrees outside, inside here without air conditioning will be significantly hotter. So the epoxy was actually like melting while I was like doing the, uh, the sanding portion of it. So overall got it done. Not how we intended it to look, but you know, things happen. So hope you liked it. I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.